Booyaka, booyaka. The wood is massive. Welcome to the boys in the wood. We've got dogs in the house. But they're going crazy right now. Fucking stupid dogs. Your dogs are the worst things to have around during a podcast. I, buzz yeah. Sport, and it's well, I'm stuck you. at home and I don't have a choice. They have to be here. Ah, well, there you go. Then. They just want to join in. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Boys in the Wood podcast. This is session three, the crossover episode. I'm Flynn Burden. I'm Russell Bronson. And I'm Oracle. And today we have some special guests with us. And that's the reason why it's called a crossover episode, because we have another podcast on the Freaking Podcast with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nuplex, Jopo and Jads. Hey, hello. 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 hello so, hello. Jads, we see you've got some technical issues. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, but I'm looking as handsome as ever, regardless. I very say. sexy. Yeah. Really? <laughs> what are you wearing right now? The red dress, is that not obvious? Oh no! I I didn't hear the rustling of the of the satin. Really, I got it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, do, you want, but... do you want to know a fun fact about that that girl? Um, she holds the record for being on TV for in in minutes more than any other living person. That goddamn oh, really? bitch! She must be loaded. I don't think she got paid. I think she's the daughter of a, of a BBC test engineer, and that's how she ended up in that photo. That that card, um, in all its glory, as we see it there, was was used on. Is, is this interesting? Was was used as closed down on TV for like a long time. So. Well, she's a very handsome yeah. lady. Because if, if everybody didn't know already, you guys are a nerdy podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, not, I'm just a nerdy it's guy. Great nerd. <laughs> it's just, I'm just a nerdy guy, man. <laughs> So, guys, how are both of you anyway? How are both of you? We haven't seen you since forever because of it's lockdown. It's been a long time. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm good. Yeah. Just good? Yeah. Good, Jads. That's really good. <laughs> to I'm good too. Good. Fantastic. Good. Thanks for coming on, guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Session three. <laughs> All right. Um, what we're going to do quickly is just going to cons cons the magic eight ball. Oh. And we're going to find out if you guys are actually going to have a good time on the podcast today. This all, this is going to solve everything. So it says, um, "Looks like yes." Well, we'll take those odds. I it don't look the... like a yes, do I? God, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You look like you're about to do an '80s workout video with that. Hair. <laughs> I mean, I am. You look like a rocker. Oh, yes, did the third Stop rocker. You, uh, is it like Donna Summers or something? I don't know. Who's one of these mm. people that do things? I don't know who Donna Summers Meryl's. is. what I'm wearing below the waist. Well, Absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> so, guys, tell us, what is the Newplex podcast? Oh, yeah. Let's get everyone in. What a question. Um, so, how do we describe it, man? It's It's about everything. I mean, so there's a few marked differences between your podcast and ours. The first is that at this point in the show, I mean, well in past the 10 minute mark, I would have spent the first 10 minutes trying to figure out what episode it is. So already you're doing way better than us on that. Um, Ranting about DC. Oh, yeah, but not last week. The, what, so an ep the episode that just went out uh, what, uh, yesterday, episode 75, um, yeah. is the first one in a long time where I've successfully not gone on a massive rant about DC. But effectively, it's, you know, it's movies, it's TV, it's like Marvel, DC, very nerdy things, Star Wars, we're talking about... We talk about wrestling a little bit, but um, one of our co-hosts, Charlie, is not at all a wrestling fan, so that always makes for some quite um, interesting conversation. <laughs> um, cool. I just don't story. get it! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it is 90% of our podcast. Um, and I think the big one of the biggest questions, well, is obviously you both go by nicknames as Jads and Jopo. Uh huh. Why doesn't your your third have a nickname? Like, did he miss like the meeting when you all came up with nicknames? <laughs> you know yeah. what? I think it is. He's been he's been trying to make Chaz stick for a long time, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Chaz. We, we didn't what agree. about Chisel? No, we're not buying into that. Do you know what the thing is? Is that we met him as Charlie because our our nicknames long predate the show. And so, um, you know, we met him as Charlie, and for Charlie, he shall stay. Yeah. So, how did you get the name Jads? Was you like kicked in the nuts as a child? 
and they just replaced the N in Nads to a J. Do you know what? With your name. <laughs> That's, that could just well that could well be the origin story. Do you know what? I honestly don't know. I've had it for so long, um, and I just can't shake it. So, uh, but I'm I'm happy with it. I will I'll stick with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid there's not an interesting origin story. No. And what is uh, Jopo? So Jopo, I, I think it was from some Reddit forum, right? And someone referred to John Morrison as Jomo. Uh, and I was like, I'm fucking. I'm, can yeah. I swear? Am I allowed to no swear? Yeah, yeah, swear all you uh, want. Like... And I was like, oh, I'm fucking stealing that. Yeah. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then made it, made it my Twitter handle straight the away. Like gate has opened. Fuck. And, it, and, it just stuck. and now it's uh. Now it's Usually <laughs> followed by six one nine, right? When you use it on social media. It was, and then our Jopo is it actually in my um business name. Mm. So now it's uh, strictly under every social media is just under my business name, which is depressing because I love the whole six or nine thing in there. That that mm-hmm. jam. But we had to retire it, so you know, old things die. Old things do die, just yeah. like time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so you guys, as you said, it is a nerdy podcast. You're talking about DC. You know, you're getting erect over Marvel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're ejaculating over um you know uh things of that nature yeah. um but how did you all meet how did you all meet oh so judge can i tell it i feel like yeah, please, my collection of things in history seems to be really on point it i have is. a pretty good memory so i'm so me and yeah. jad so sorry i'll go back me and chaz were actually in the same year together at school um so we were actually really really close throughout school so um but then obviously as we both went to uni we Kind of went our own separate ways, as you as you as it happens, you yeah. yeah, as it happened. Um, and then I actually met Jad through Twitter. I don't know how he did. Again, we, we I think we knew of each other, but we mainly met through Twitter. And uh, yeah, I, I think specifically... you were one of the few wrestling fans that yeah. I was following, and so like yeah. that was something that we we talked about. We bonded Twitter. over. I remember specifically, and I, this is how sad I am again. I remember it was like my twentieth birthday, and he wished Aww. me happy birthday. And I was like, oh, thank you, alternate reality version of me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we had then... a, com- a lot in common. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. I mean, I used Twitter. <laughs> it feels like, like this it. feels like a love connection. I was going to say, this is a beautiful <laughs> love story. <laughs> it's a beautiful love story. <laughs> um, and then I don't, I don't know what happened, but we, uh, I think you put something out about the Newplex on Twitter, and then yeah. I messaged, and I was like, hey, I'd love to write about wrestling. Um, you know, one thing led to another. Um, and then it just kind of opened the floodgates from there, and uh, oh. yeah, it's been a, it's been a. I'd say in more recent years, it almost we, instead of it being about the pod and about the website, it was actually more of a, a, a friendship, and then that was just kind of a bonus thing we did in a way, which was quite nice. Um, it became less kind of. I mean, it was never work, but it, it was more just. Oh, we're going to hang out and let's do a podcast or something. Yeah, and then it turned right. overtly sexual. Podcast <laughs> absolutely. As it is currently. <laughs> yeah, no, that that's 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 the long and short of it. Uh, the the Newplex started as a as a website, less a less a podcast, and so um, when I started it up, I was sort of um, I'd been involved in like student media and stuff when I was at uni, and I was I was keen to keep something going. Um, but my my um, area of interest is generally is more writing than anything else. As you can tell, I can't I can't form a sentence out loud to save my <laughs> life. Um, um, so yeah, I was looking to recruit uh, writers, and I just sort of put an open call out on Twitter, and I found uh, Jopo and and others that way. And uh, yeah, it's been great. We've had a a lot of laughs. That's that's and how not long to say that going? I can write. By the way, <laughs> you can write, don't you? you I can. I, I Every, everyone on the team it... diminishes themselves. You, you're all good writers. I speak and it ends up on paper, and then Jazz has to edit everything I write. Yeah, but that's you good. have to get somebody to kind of like, to like make make it make sense. Is, is it like Michael J. Fox writing? Uh, Jazz is <laughs> just the, all over the place. Jazz is the rumored Vince McMahon to my Vince Russo. That's what <laughs> it is, isn't it, Jazz? You're my filter. Uh, well, I yes, all right. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah I so in in the old school sorts of like we're organized a bit much more like a magazine than a pod so I I put on the editor hat but it, it's very little actual editing happens it's normally just sort of moving things around dotting the i's crossing the t's sort of thing like I say everyone's 
contributed really good stuff over the years. I think you asked how long it's been going. Did you just say, well... Yes, yes, sorry, yeah, I interrupted. Uh, no, no, I interrupted you. Um, heaven. Yes, you did. Um, <laughs> Jopo, how long's it been going? <laughs> four years, uh, January just gone. I thought you were about to say four years, two days, 30 hours, <laughs> six minutes. Do you know, it was actually New Year's Day that I messaged to um, apply or join. You are so good with January dates, man. January 20. I know, my memory just, honestly, ridiculous. New Year's Day. New Year's Day. 2016. Oh, I, I so messaged well. Jads and said, I love you and I want to be on your podcast. <laughs> and he said, okay, I need a writer to write about wrestling. <laughs> and then so it just went from there. And now here we are, four years in, and we're doing podcast after podcast after podcast. That was a hell of an impression. Oh, I don't we're, oh we're my clipping God. That. No, I'm clipping that. That's going to be our show open from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if, you, if, you, if you could have just thrown in there, like, Jopo, this is your life. Oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> Cough it off. Cough it off for us. <laughs> Woo. That was and, uh, well, you've obviously told us how you met and, and everything else, um, and obviously where the names come from. Where can you find the podcast? I think that's a good question for everybody to know. Like, where can everybody find you? Obviously, I know you don't have a YouTube. We don't. Well, do you know, we do, but we don't upload to it, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, pretty much anywhere you find your podcasts, I'm sure wherever you can find this, this fine show, you'll find us alongside it. Just search for the Newplex. We also have a website, newplex.com, which has all links and good stuff. But yeah, just, just search our name, you'll find us. That's not very specific. You guys got merch? We don't. Do you reckon we should? Oh, we should definitely have merch. I'll buy a t-shirt. It's a logo. Yeah. Love that. We've got hoodies, but that's only really for the team and then like a few other people that have asked. But maybe we should stick them on the website. Yeah, make that money. <laughs> the money and making that merchandise making looking sick AF, as the kids <laughs> say. I don't think any kids say that. I think Is kids... There... Apple is there the Boys in the Woods merch? There will be. Um, it's on the way. There will be. Um, we have got some stuff in the bank. Um, oh, yeah. And we're kind of releasing that. But um, obviously we're waiting for like the right time to do it as well. Mm. We need actual yeah, listeners yeah, yeah. and an audience. It's, yeah. <laughs> kind of helps when you're selling hey, merch. Listen. Tens listen, one joins. <laughs> one listens the whole way through, and that's you. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh, I am with <laughs> you. Question for you both. Um, this is just my wrestling brain thinking. Were you, I'm sure you Jeez. were, were you aware that the acronym of Boys in the Wood was also Best in the World? Actually, no. no I did not notice that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. <laughs> there you are. He's just giving you your next t shirt idea. Cut, cut the yeah. new plex in here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much money are we we'll talking about? Just delete this section of the actual podcast and post it out and say, say No, 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 no. <laughs> um, Jopo, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, obviously, you're all a part of a bit pretty nerdy podcast. Um, you know, you've got listeners, but Ooh. do any of them know about your Star Wars recreation? Um, that you did, I think it was Revenge of the Sith, where you reinvented the entire <laughs> ending in a fixed <laughs> dorm room. Oh, well. Um, no, I don't think the podcast listeners would know of that. Um, I'm happy to tell the story of how it became a yes, thing. Yes, please, I want to know. Um, oh, my gosh. So, we were in our last year of sixth form, and um, on a Friday, it tended to be a uh, a day when no one really had a lot of lessons or I, de I had like one lesson in the morning and the rest was a free period but kind of staying in the six form common room was like the cool thing to do and uh, so did I <laughs> <laughs> and it was May it was May the 5th 2014 and, oh, that uh, is weird man actually May that 4th. is quite weird now it obviously May the 4th sorry <laughs> um, and then I uh, someone said to me it was like ah oh, do you have any lightsabers and I said yeah I have like five um, and I was like, oh, but my uncle's also got, like, Darth Maul's one. And um, I was like, I'm sure I can get it. And I was like, well, but br everyone bring in a lightsaber. And we just, like, have a bit of a laugh. And then 
we suddenly decided to like print off the episode three script uh attack of the clones script as well um yeah it was mad and then we just kind of choreographed our own lightsaber scene um it's all over facebook um there was like six of us and we just choreographed like this group battle um and i did like a a backward jump over a chair <laughs> after a force push or something um but yeah it's pretty cool yeah <laughs> yeah that's what everybody says that's, pretty that's cool <laughs> pretty much it. And then it, the, the girls the girls in the in our sixth one were kind of doing things like so childish um, <laughs> those 16 year old girls telling you how so... childish you are <laughs> <laughs> they are so never gonna get <laughs> uh, and then like the the head of sixth one walking and she goes oh Boys will be boys. <laughs> She's 68 years old. <laughs> she doesn't even know what Star Wars is. I, 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 never, I would never, ever recreate a film scene. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was pretty educational. We're reading the script. You know, drama. We're reacting. If anything, I should be proud of us. And if anything, you're doing some kind of uh, like jazz dance as well with those lightsabers. Yeah, it was um, it was a phenomenal show. I thought I've always been wanting to. I'm quite big into the whole fight choreography thing. So I, I was like, I was like, hey guys, look, there's six of us. You've got three reds. We've got three blues. We can do something here. Three's up. <laughs> <laughs> you won, won the lightsaber battle. That's what I want to know. Ah, uh, it was so. I can even talk you through it. So I start off fighting some dude. He force pushes me over a chair. I get eliminated, so I'm just like dead from a force push. You put yourself out first. Yeah, man. But, but, oh. Dude, I put people over, man. <laughs> yeah. True worker. I'm a journey. <laughs> <man. laughs> um, and then he gets taken out. I think it was some the dude with the the Darth Maul saber, obviously, because um, you know that thing wrecks. So it Two's up on sabers. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, and I'm, I'm, I mean, I've got a load of lightsabers now. I think I bought a few more after that happened. So, well, I'm definitely going to go buy some lightsabers now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think when we go back to wrestling, Buzz, or we need to have lightsabers in our entrance. It's like just complete darkness. Then you just see two lightsabers Ooh, light that's up. Genius. And you know what you want as well right. is you want the uh, you want the force theme where it's like na na na. And then the lights come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm all for that. Yeah, do it. That's what I imagine in my head. Okay, anyway. but shotgun blue. <laughs> oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own. Oh, oh no. get your own crystals. Oh, Sam Jackson. And it's going to be a pale green. Ooh. Okay. Forest like green. Like a mint, a mint green, oh, a like an after eight. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it just comes out like, oh, feel Ooh. cold. <laughs> <laughs> menthol. You got a menthol it's lightsaber. Full flavored lightsaber. <laughs> Bionetta lightsaber. <laughs> so if you Ooh. the lungs of that lightsaber, they'll be like, oh god. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Those need there, to be banned. <laughs> so I heard. Um, I'm aware that you guys are potentially going after a couple of tag straps. Is that correct? We are, yes. Um, well, we've got to beat Pete Bainbridge at SWW. Um, well, I've got to beat Pete Bainbridge in a game of rock, paper, scissors. Yeah, you better win that, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, so I've got to beat him in that. If we win, um, then both... Well, I am reinstated in SWW because at the moment I'm currently fired because I punched Bainbridge right in the right in his mush. Well, that'll do it. Um, so, uh, do it. yeah, be back... And uh, we'll both be in the SWD Tag Team Championship Tournament. Love that. Um, our first competitors will, or, part, or opponents, should I say, will be um, the Chocolate Hoodlums, which I think we mentioned in a previous podcast. Ooh. I don't think that one got released. Do we not really? <laughs> um, so we're going to wrestle them. Um, and then from there on, it will be... I can't remember who the other teams are now. I think... The, on the other side of that would have either uh, Project Killjoy, which is the Elliot Jordan experience, and his partner Luke Douglas, um, or whoever they're facing. Oh, lovely. <laughs> will you, um, obviously, hypothetically speaking here, will you have matching gear, both of you? Um, it's definitely something we will be looking to do. Yeah, <laughs> <Flynn pays laughs> for it. 
<laughs> I mean, you can just do like the. I think the thing the young bucks did. They turned up to a taping with no gear, so they just bought some jeans from Hot Topic. Yeah, that worked. Is couple... that is that their origin oh, story? Honestly. No, no, no. It was um, <laughs> it was like a recent show. Well, when okay. we were in Ring, oh, sorry, yeah. And they turned up with no gear, so they went to Hot Topic, bought some their uh, jeans, and then just wrestled in jeans. That'll do. We'll go to. That sums up the Young Bucks for you. Oh, don't get started on Jad's on the Young Bucks. Yeah, let's really? not go there. Who are the Young Bucks? Yeah, oh. yeah who? 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 Exactly. <laughs> what are the Young They're Bucks? Young. They're young and they like um, horses. Uh, a male deer. Oh. Mm. And they come out. They wear antlers. Yeah. And hot topic jeans. This sounds really good. And hot <laughs> hot top jeans. Like a, they're like a really top. weird minotaur. Maybe we can get them in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Pull them up. Oh, there are young bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll we'll have a fucking match, and it's like call it a fiver. <laughs> Be a great fucking show. <laughs> if you were to have matching gear, like matching Hawaiian shirts, would mm. buzzsaw with the sleeves cut off. Obviously, yeah. Big arms. <laughs> I think that would look cool. We're as... getting the same. We're getting similar entrance jackets. Um, oh, that. But... That'll do. That, no, that's uh, fine. Yeah. Like, I've got like a black denim jacket that I've got like covered oh. in patches. Um, yes. But I was going to get uh, a, a denim vest jacket on. Yeah, that's me, right. If I remember rightly. I can't cover up the arms. Um, it's my whole selling point. <laughs> this whole selling point is his big trunk like arms. It's my USP. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's good shit. <laughs> and I'm I not... look like a melted candle. That's your USP. <laughs> 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 What, he looks like a fucking melted can. <laughs> you can't change your uh, your video graphics though, uh, because Buzzsaws is my favourite of all of them. Yeah, we'll just use mine. Buzz. Yeah, uh, I, th I think so. Let's do that. Yeah. That was for sure. Fuck you. Anyways, who's this fucking? Just <laughs> <laughs> walking out with him. <laughs> I don't think you've got one, Flynn. I don't have one. No. Um, I think we are getting something sorted though. We've got like, our own music. Oh. Okay. Uh, Custom we've got jobby. We've got some instrumental music that we've got, uh, which is the theme of the podcast at the moment. Um, but there is something else in the works, which we will release at a later date once it's finished. Um, but it's, it's a very, very custom thing that's being nice. done. Especially Ooh. pretty from nice. the third so far. Um, so that's pretty exciting stuff. But we've got to be able to wrestle again yet. So uh... <laughs> yeah. You better get training in your hand. My hand? Yeah, for that rock, paper, scissors match. Oh, it's already trained, mate. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm the Forest of Dean champion, six years running. Oh. Cambridge doesn't know what he's up for. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's I can see what he's going to do before he's even done it. That was scissors, by the and way. That's how you win. Oh, yeah. That's how you win rock, paper, scissors. Yes. <laughs> no one ever knows what I'm going to do. Sometimes I'll come out there and just throw out fire. If you don't do rock, I will lose my shit. God. Oh, I'm gonna rock him in the jewel. You need to do rock. Rock always wins. Rock always Apart wins. Apart from when it's paper. It ah, but if it's raining. Oh, of course. Uh, yeah. That paper gets all mulchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get him outside and just be like, hey, do paper. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Give me on, just like. <laughs> well, you never know. Given like the corona restrictions and all that, you you might have to do the the next show. Might yeah, have yeah. to be outside, you know. You're outside, twenty meters apart. Yeah, that's it. Rubber gloves on. Mm -hmm. And that's how we that's how we play rock paper scissors. It's the safe version. And there's, there's someone. A, um, there's a with... progress event happening, isn't there? Like, is it today? Um, In... there is. A, yeah, it's the uh, national. Nat was it natural progression? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, they've got that going on on the network, but um, from what I've seen, they are following really strict um, rules like they have done, because it's, I think WWE are sorting it out. Yeah, it's on the oh, network, okay. isn't it? Yeah, Yeah, it's literally only on the net. I, I know I'm on Progress On Demand as well. Mm -hmm. okay. um, but yeah, they're doing that, um, some like live tapings for that, so that'll be out whenever it's well, out. No one invited me. Um, Oh, How do they expect to get any viewers if they, they don't book me? <laughs> they're scared. That's what it is. Well, scared. They're terrified. Buzz saw now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it trending. Buzz, bitch. Yeah. That's a hashtag. And nobody will ever do it. Nope, they never do. <laughs> so, who's it? Is he associated with anyone? 
Oh, yeah, Flynn Burden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the exact conversation every not. time. Every single time. Is that, oh, is you running around with that fucking melted candle for wine shirt? Fuck. <laughs> that used to be Gilligan Gordon. <laughs> now, now it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep associating myself with these people? You are a fool. <laughs> You're a fool. It's self sabotage. <laughs> um. Right, and back to the Nuplex, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so how long... Uh, so you said your podcast has been going about four years. Yeah, about, right. yeah. Oh, so our podcast... Oh. Me with dates again, sorry. Oh, uh, it's going about three years. 2018, three. we released that first episode. Damn. See, I was thinking 2018 is two years ago. Oh, I know. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's I three, forget. isn't it? That's crazy. Damn. It is. I mean, yeah, but you consider we're on 75 episodes, so that is a, that's yeah, a long true. track, isn't it? I yeah. did see your podcast popped up with a 75th episode yeah. today, in fact, this morning when I woke up. Oh. I haven't listened to it yet, but I will oh. give, it a, give it a mooch. Yeah, so it's <laughs> right in a year's time, we'll be at 100. I know. Yeah. Would it be that long? Yeah, yeah exactly. so we, we, we go, so we had a period of time, so we started off fortnightly, and then we went to weekly for a period. Yeah. And then we we transitioned back to uh, fortnightly. And we had a massive. We had about what was it? Six months off during the first lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. We I think we just weren't. We time. weren't feeling it to be honest. Like, if we're being like brutally honest, I think we just weren't in the headspace for it. But yeah, I'm glad yeah. it's back. You know? Everything didn't it really? It, it's something to look forward to as well. Like, yeah, definitely. You know, chatting nerdy shit with nerdy people is pretty damn fun. So, Indeed, exactly. yeah. That's why we do and what this. What is your target audience? What's our target audience? Yeah, your target audience. Just anyone that's into into really nerdy stuff, to be honest. But I think um, I think we've got a good mix. So, like, especially when we're talking about, for example, like the Marvel stuff. So, I'm I'm a sort of an you know uh, an an Omega level nerd. So I, I've read a lot of the comics and stuff. <laughs> and so I, I sort of bring that. We, what I like about the show is that we all sort of approach the same topics from sort of different angles. So I, I often yeah. bring a, a lot of the really nerdy background stuff. Jopo brings the sort of like, you know, you're really into like the action sequences, like the big sort of, yeah. the big hitting moments of, of the movies and stuff. Um, what does Charlie bring? He, I'd he, say he like, brings a lot of definitely. background knowledge about characters. He does, but especially from like earlier cartoons, like so, like from like na yeah. like noughties and like two thousands cartoons, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. yeah, I like that we we bring we bring something different. Yeah, it's good to but, be diverse. It's good. It, to, yeah, I definitely but also, say we're all we're kind of dominant in different sectors individually as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So like you're very into kind of DC comics, Marvel comics, yeah. things like that. Charlie's very into kind of music also kind of comic book stuff i'm definitely what i'd probably say the wrestling guy of the group mm. um like jad jad's is suddenly transitioning back into being a wrestling fan. i am i've taken a year off from yeah wrestling. yeah i mean Which i probably shouldn't probably say on year, this show <laughs> probably the no, you could do. we're not we're not just wrestling we're also absolute nonsense yeah. uh, say 90 percent nonsense 90 percent nonsense <laughs> it's also really in, it's a very it's like a stark contrast between I think the two podcasts here as well because yeah. you guys you can you guys can explain prompted or unprompted should I say um what to what what your podcast is about you know who's got the specific uh skills and knowledge and and everything for each thing if anybody asked me or Buzz or two <laughs> explain <laughs> what our podcast was it'd be like well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we sit about for a bit, we chat some shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> like, absolutely nothing. I mean, it takes a, I mean, so like I say, we're on episode 75. It takes a while. Like, so, I mean, again, I probably shouldn't say this, but I do very little prep for, for each of our recordings. So do we. <laughs> I've got a scrap of paper with your names on it. <laughs> and I keep having to look at it. <laughs> good at rolling I have to keep it. looking at the graphic behind Buzzsaw that says the Nuplex just so I know it's you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, take, it takes a while to get to the point where you can just sort of show up and generally make something happen. The other thing is, of course, as you're learning currently, is I have a, a horrible tendency to just ramble infinitely. So 
th there's very little dead air because if, if I notice a, a second of silence, I'm going to slip on in there and then talk yeah. about, you know, the internal workings of Warner Brothers for half an hour. Ooh, what are the internal oh, workings of Warner Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me now. <laughs> I have um, actually a question for both of you. Um, a bit what, of, flipping. Oh, Are we on your podcast but, uh... today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, is, this is like how this is how a job interview <laughs> should go. I'm rebranding. Them questions. <laughs> rebranding as we go. I've got Mustafa Ali and the rest of Retribution. They're hacking the shit out of your computer. <laughs> right um, but yeah, uh, just a bit of a wrestling question. What? Um, for you guys was kind of the a, a moment uh, or match that actually got you both into wrestling I'm just pretty intrigued I don't know whatever you can... uh, main event of Wrestlemania 1 oh I got really? it I got oh, it on VHS I'm not that old but I got <laughs> okay. I got an old I remember I was probably about three or four years old and my dad bought me uh, an old wrestling VHS and I watched the main event of WrestleMania 1 on it and I lost my mind. And ever, ever since then, I'm like, I'm going to be a wrestler. And that was it. That's cool. Yeah. And it, so it wasn't WrestleMania 1. It wasn't any kind of caliber of that kind of match, really. <laughs> All I remember was watching, my, I think my sister put um, Raw on in the Dave Me once because I was annoying the shit out of her. <laughs> and she put on... Uh, the mat of it, I think it was the main event of the night. It was Mankind versus The Rock with the pink slip on all match. So if Foley lost or Rock lost, they had to be fired. And it's like this Stephanie McMahon Helmsley era. And there's like yeah. Triple H stood on the eight on the uh, uh, the entrance way, and that and then Mick Foley loses like Foley, you're fired. And at that moment, I was like, I'm a wrestler. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what did it for you. That, that would been... It's that great stuff. Two thousand, I imagine. That would have been, um, I think, that would have been ninety nine, because that 99. was when back in two thousand as Cactus. Ah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. So maybe early ninety nine then, or it's been late ninety nine, I think. Late ninety nine. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, because Triple H and Steph was Armageddon in ninety nine, wasn't it? So yeah. But, ah, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Nice. That's that's what got me going. I preferred my story. Um, yeah, yours was a bit better. It was a bit more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> right, here you go, you fat shit. Watch this. Stuff. <laughs> I've never watched WrestleMania 1. Oh, no, neither have I. Oh, it's the best. Uh, go okay. back and watch it. Who, right now. I might have to, Hang yeah. up on this podcast. Yeah, Fuck this podcast off. Go watch WrestleMania <laughs> there you 1. Guys. Well, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got some quick fire questions for you guys, though. Oh, okay. All right, so... Jads, mm. what is the nerdiest thing uh -oh. you've ever done? We already know Joe Post because he recreated an entire scene from Star Wars. What's the nerdiest thing I have ever done? Uh, <laughs> starting the new Plex, um, <laughs> opening this podcast by telling you the history of the BBC test card is up there with the, nerdi the nerdiest things I've done. Um, oh. what is, I don't know, man. I, it's it's honestly it's just my my existence is the nerdiest thing I've ever done. <laughs> um, I I don't Still think I've done. Out I don't think I've done anything on the scale of recreating a Star Wars. You wish you had. I wish I had. yeah, oh, big time man. Uh, but have I ever done anything like that? Oh, it, on, I so hard to answer, man. It's just it's honestly my whole life. Just everything I've ever done. I used to um. Oh, okay, so this is this is pretty nerdy. Um, when do you, do you guys remember on the PlayStation Two there was that thing called an eye toy? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You still have one, didn't you? <laughs> 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 your <laughs> I play with myself. <laughs> Sorry. My, continue. <laughs> my sort of entry into the world of media was. Um, I would make action films. So what I, I had a, a, a TV and VHS combo. So what I do is I would tape myself playing uh, the various like mini games inside iToy, and then cut those together in, into a into a, a movie starring like me and my like my stuffed animals taking on like hordes of ninjas and stuff. That that's 
<laughs> and there's me. loads of it. I, there's loads. There's like these boxes of this shit, and it's all the same movie. <laughs> <laughs> I had very little uh, narrative uh, variance. I was a I was a one track kind of filmmaker back in those days. <laughs> <laughs> and indeed, back to this day. day. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that's oh, pretty nerdy. yeah, that's that's pretty nerdy. I'm going to take that as a pretty nerdy, and the, and the nerdiest thing you've done, uh, Joe Pope. Yeah. Your question. Well, your I've got a few questions for you, but your question. Uh, strangest place you've boned down. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> strangest place to bone down. Bone down. Yeah, bump so uglies, just... knock boots. Mm. Strangest place I have or would. <laughs> I feel like unless you're a very a vanilla lover, now. unless you're a very vanilla lover, you don't, you know, you could admit that people, some people <laughs> like. Um, I don't mind. Um, let me, let me. Think. I don't know. That abattoir was a pretty weird place, right, man? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say, Chad, I'm revealing too much here. I'm sorry. Go for it, go for it. Um, oh god, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> no, it's not even. No, no, it's not even that. It's a car. That's not that bad. That's fine. Yeah, yeah that, what yeah, car? That's yeah. fine. You know, was it? Yeah, that what was kind it? of car? Was it a nice? It, <laughs> it was a. It was a Fiat 500. A Fiat 500. There's not much room in there. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> it's like logistical like nightmare. Ass sunroof. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it did have a, one of those convertible sunroofs, though. It was like, it wasn't just the regular. It was like the, the larger scale one for, for the new oh. Fiat. Fiat. And like. this, this was my Fiat, by the way, because my first car was a Fiat 500. Did your mum sit in that seat afterwards? <laughs> there were... <laughs> People would have oh, just, just kind of, <laughs> You're driving there, you can just see around the corner of your eye, like, oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to sit in the back. <laughs> just sit down where you're sitting, I think it's something leaked. <laughs> uh, Chad, uh, strangest thing you've put in your mouth. Oh man. We're getting into the real stuff today. Uh. <laughs> Strangest thing. So now I'm just trying to consider the strangest things I've ever encountered in my life, and then whether or not you, you I would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What are strange things? Because, I mean, when you're a when you're a small child, of course, that's how you experience the world. Is just that's why that's why they're always chewing on stuff. Um, of course, yes, that's what we all do. Sure. I. <laughs> no, 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 that that is that is normal, right? But, um, let's see, the weirdest thing. I'm just like looking around now, just to try and get <laughs> weird items. Think uh, of food. Food. I'm, I'm a very, you know me, Joe. But I'm, I'm not adventurous at all. Yeah, you know, if it's not, if it's not pasta based, then I'm not interested. <laughs> um, um, I broke my tooth. Which has led to years of, of difficulty on a. It was like a projectile from uh, like an action figure type thing, and I was just sort of chewing on it one day, and it broke my tooth. But that's not strange. That's just sad. Um, <laughs> I, I, I am, I'm committed to giving you an answer, but I genuinely cannot think. Um, what are strange things that I might have put in my mouth? <laughs> This is the highlight of the podcast. Know, you're going to have to move on. This is, this is dead air. It's a, real, it's a real thinker, that one. It is. <laughs> uh, I, I would challenge you to answer that on the spot. The chat, oh, what I, the weirdest thing I've ever put in my mouth. Uh, pig trotter. Hmm. Uh, okay, like I said, I'm quite a picky eater, so m most of my food is, is quite plain. It's a nice bit of meat, a pig trotter. Mm, no. Oh, it is. It's just, it's just bacon on a foot. Yeah, it's oh, the foot yeah. that, that troubles me. I was, the thing is, though, it's been cooked. It's been cleaned. You know, mm, there's no equal cool matter. You know, I saw... The so, toe. um, I follow uh, a great many people on Instagram. One of those is the singer, Shawn Mendes, and he posted a picture the other day of... Um, I don't know if, if anyone is familiar with Shawn Mendes in your demographic, but he's a, he's a singer. Did you put him in your mouth? And he's married... <laughs> You Did you put him in your mouth? <laughs> Is that where we're going with this? 
<laughs> no, but he he put something <laughs> terrible. He so he is married to another singer called Camille Cabello, and he posted a picture on Instagram of him just like literally eating her foot the other day, and I and I spat out my tea. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> British. <laughs> I dropped my crumpet. It was absolutely revolting, and I don't know why. You say literally eating her foot? Was he like? Yeah, yeah. Like no, it, it, no, it, like it over was a roast or something. That's disgusting. It, um, look, I look it up and tell me you're not horrified. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some people are into that, brother. <laughs> uh, Jopo, what's your favourite beverage? Oh, it is a white monster ultra. Ooh, I thought classic. And I thought he was going to say white Russian. I got really excited, but then you, <laughs> oh, no. and you basically is, my mouth with monster thou, drink. There is nothing better than a zero calorie white monster. That shit bangs hard. Like, yes. Like in the Fiat. Like in the Fiat. Yeah. <laughs> you think that's where they got the name Fiat Five Hundred Pop from? <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> it's the origins of the Fiat 500 pop. Ooh. Uh, Jad, next question for you. Uh, I'm trying to read my... I've written this down. Um, oh, God, what did I say? What the fuck have I written? Can't read your hammer in. <laughs> have you ever been in a fight? Have I ever been in a fight? What a question. Um... Certainly not. Certainly not. Yes. Uh, like, like, um, as in a like a fist fight, fisty cuffs. Um, because yeah, like Jopo says, I engage in psychological warfare on the reg. <laughs> um, <laughs> but have I ever been in a fist fight? Certainly not since primary school. Um, yeah, I, and I, I would always have been dragged into it. I would certainly not have instigated such a thing. <laughs> um, I think I think I did. I think probably at primary school, a bit, a bit. I was a bit more rough and ready back then. But um, that is not the life I lead these days. I'm a changed man. Days. Like, I'm, I'm, You're... I got to year seven and found God, and everything changed. <laughs> <laughs> and and Jopo, what's your bedtime routine? Oh. <laughs> um, no, it's actually not as. Sexual as people were expecting. Um, well, that's enough for me then. I don't even need hear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a, it is watch a bit of YouTube, hot shower just before bed, brush your teeth, and then med listen to sleep meditation podcasts as I fall asleep. Do you know what's better than a sleep meditation podcast? Masturbation. Bob Ross every time, and also a good masturbation. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't. I must have paid, you know, I, I will not sleep right. <laughs> Wake up a crick neck, I'm like, oh god, I should have done it. I have done it. <laughs> Bob Ross is better than a sleep meditation. Really? Bob Ross all the way. Yeah, a big oh, okay. fan. I give that a go tonight. Bob will give he's on Prime. He used to be on Netflix, but they took him off because they're ass wipes. Mm -hmm. Um but they uh Amazon have got a good lot of Bob on. Oh, okay. And Anne is just oh. Do you have one of those voices? Oh, he's yeah. got one of the voices, and he paints like a fucking dream. Mm. Have you not seen Bob Ross show though? No, oh, I literally man. not exposed to anything that isn't like wrestling or superhero. <laughs> Bob Ross, man, it'll change your life. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Love okay. my Bob. Love okay. my Bob. Uh, Chad, um, who was the last person? To punch you in the face. And this doesn't have to be because of a fight. But someone yeah. just Ooh. square in the face. Who was the last person to punch me in the face? Uh, that is a great question. Uh, so many people would be well within their rights. So many <laughs> missed opportunities. When was the last time it materialized? Uh, God, I don't know. God, I live such a sheltered life, don't I? Um... <laughs> Let's see. Did you know what? It's pr it was probably. I bet it was like one of the Newplex team. I bet. In, nah. in some. I bet in, maybe in some capacity. I'd never lay a hand on you. I don't believe that for a second. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're Apple enemies. Really. That's the reason this my is camera isn't working. I'm, I'm just. I'm black and blue. <laughs> um... <laughs> There's that fucking Joe again. <laughs> 
Oh, you man. Under He's going to pasta oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, yeah, it would have been a friend and it would have been a joke. They would have, like, not meant to have punched me. It's the kind of thing that you would totally do, Flynn, to be honest. It's, the, you know, the kind of, like, bit of... <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't mean it, but they would hit. They would hit you in the face by accident, you know. It, I bet it was. It would have been someone from the wrestling world for sure. <laughs> it's probably me. I'm just walking it, around. Yeah, I, I put money on it. And just punch a string in the face. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> it would. Yeah, if it happened anywhere, it would have been at a wrestling show. And it. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually put money on it being you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> and Joe Pro, the final question of these. Ooh questions um who are you wearing i am wearing asos captain america comic book team Ooh, that's nice. a nice t-shirt yeah yeah it's very cool I, I like to wear geeky shit to, mm-hmm. to like show people i'm a geek yeah you know because the podcast isn't enough <laughs> no no and then the classic thing is people go Oh, I bet you're really, you know, you're you're not into that geeky stuff. I'm a like, poser, no, I'm, yeah. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm a hardcore geek. Oh, yeah. Like, take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. And then they block you on Tinder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he is not getting it. <laughs> I don't like that Avenger stuff. Was that all the quickfire questions? Quick quickfire questions. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was going to go following this. Where was we? Is so that you how you punctuate each segment with a, with a puff of the vape, a cloud of vape? <laughs> Maybe we should do that. Yeah. You know, we don't have video on our end, and that um, our show is just audio. And it, I feel like you guys should be commended here for the <laughs> for the ad complexity of all this video stuff. So it's not easy. Yeah, people it's know that. super. That's the reason we don't do it. It's so bloody it's very hard. complicated, and it never works. <laughs> never. I have I have high hopes for this one though. <laughs> as you were saying, the dog <laughs> yeah. As you're saying, um, so you're wearing here. This is a good segue here. Watch this. Oh, okay. So you're wearing ASOS. Yeah. Uh, Captain America. Oh, why yeah. Captain America? Like, um, why here? All Jesus. of the Avengers that you have. Oh. I would rather you wear. Um, what's his name? The Pym guy. Um, Thank the original him. guy. But I mean, like, Michael Douglas mm-hmm. as him okay. in the current series. Old man Michael Douglas. Right, I'd rather right. you wear that guy just like a rendering of his face on a t- <laughs> Captain America. Oh, okay. I, Cap, I think I have a bit of a man crush on Cap, you know? You do. Like, you're a Cap stan. Yeah, yeah. Like, you look at Cap and you're like, I want to be Cap. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to be you Cap. You could be if you got all those so injections I think that's what and stuff. Cap. Yeah. That's true. You that do look true. like Cap pre-Cap. Out... <laughs> he just signed up to the army. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like, Captain America for me is literally like uh, the arrow, green arrow of oh, Marvel. Okay. Really? It's like, oh no, oh no, some aliens are attacking the Earth. What, who are we going to call? I've got a bow and an arrow. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's not ideal. But Captain, yeah. they have guns. I've got a shield. I don't know. He's pretty, you know. He's strong, he fast, is. good looking, and that's about it. Yeah, I'm into Captain America. <laughs> I know what you're talking about, Flynn. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. he's got I, he's I got great I'm... leadership qualities. <laughs> I'd I'd say that yeah. about him. Oh, and... he's, a dick. he's annoying. <laughs> oh. he's, he is quite sanctimonious. We we've yeah. did a debate on this on our yeah. podcast. Yeah. This was like one of our first episodes. It was, wasn't it? I, I really prepped yeah. that debate as well, and I feel like you guys didn't, so I just wiped the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was Team Cap, but I had no idea why. Yeah. <laughs> I just liked him. I just like him. <laughs> we did this debate about um, uh, in Captain America Civil War, so it's like this whole thing, isn't it? Iron Man versus Captain America. Yeah, and uh, there's. You, you could conceivably take an argument on either side, so I, I took the, the side of Iron Man, and I prepared, like, legalistic arguments about why <laughs> was... <laughs> I know. Why Iron Man was in the right in that situation. And I feel like the opposition... Just, it's, you what, sorry? You write a deposition on this. Well, you know, I, I prepared a lot of notes. They're, they're around here somewhere, and I feel like the opposition didn't bring their A-games. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> 
the dogs are well with you on this one. Yeah, uh, I can tell. They are listening. I am so sorry, guys. They are loving what you're <laughs> These saying. These dogs have no And they are barking <laughs> their applause straight to you. I feel it. And that, I think that one was Flash because it's a yappy bastard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell at this point. Yeah, Buzzsaw's got two dogs. He's got Spot and he's got Flash. Uh, what breeds are they, Buzzsaw? Just fill us the worst. in. The worst breeds. We've got a Collie and we got a Patterdale Terrier and they are nightmares. Absolutely, I hate these dogs. Does someone want to buy these dogs off me? You can take these dogs. I'll pay you to take these dogs. No. <laughs> this, is like, this is like this is like the new age version of take my we my my wife. Please take, <laughs> please take my dog. Both of them. How long have you had them? Um, well, Spot's getting up there now. He's what seven? Yeah, Spot's seven, and Flash is four. Yeah, we've yeah. had them both since they were little baby puppies. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. So there are little little children, little hairy children. Yeah. That we want to get rid of. <laughs> Just, Just like, like any normal. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They ruined our lives. I thought Flynn was your hairy child. <laughs> He's my hairy long lost well, cousin. I'm, I'm just the hairy nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say it does seem like you guys have just like locked him in a purple cupboard in your house. Somewhere. I did. I found Bigfoot, purple. shaved him down, and locked him in a purple cupboard. Exactly. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's a little Harry Potter bedroom. A little Harry Potter. It's just the one little nook that's the only place I could put my computer. Yeah. Uh, it's everywhere else. It's just such an awkward room. I have very like limited places I can put things. So yeah. this, this is where it is Why right a bigger now. bigger house, you cheap oh, motherfucker. Yeah, cut to Joker with his massive bedroom. What a flex that was. Yeah, I mean, he's got his uh, his. How many sofas have you got yeah. in there? <laughs> I've got Street, one, sweet. two. Then the, the, there's like my my. I call it my washing chair, which is where the <laughs> washing gets dumped before that I put it away. Every, every chair <laughs> in every house that looks just like that, <laughs> because right now that you can't see is currently doing exactly the same. <laughs> and, and I'm too it's lazy. Yeah. <laughs> and then the old bed's there. And then the TV and console is just next to me. And then the windowsill is like where you guys are, right here. Oh, oh the other half Livy. A lovely view. It is a lovely view. There's lots of gardens. Are you at the back of the house as well? Yes. So you yes. can stare into the neighbours, like. Pretty much. I've got a view of about 10 gardens here. So if they're doing some freaky shit in night time, I'm going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> No pants dance from the neighbours, Shirley and Eric. You definitely see it with that big telescope. <laughs> Eric, what are you doing? <laughs> Eric, put your balls away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a nice view, though. I always kind of sit here with the pods. Quite nice. Not so much at night time, obviously. Because but... I was on your podcast, uh, what was it, God, summertime last? 20 yeah, years? a long time ago now. It was 2019 now, wasn't it? Jeez. Yeah, 2019. Yeah. Yeah, so I was on that podcast a, a, a while ago. I come in, just completely disrupted your normal flow. Um, it was great. We had a great time. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to say that to him. <laughs> we, we haven't had a guest since, I think. That's what, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I do. I'm your last. <laughs> first and last. It was, it, was a, it was a good laugh, wasn't it? You were cracking out with some good Ric Flair impressions. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My life. Yeah. The only yeah, thing I've never right. ever done. I didn't. Yeah. We cut it into the outro. I think we like we did something with it. It was int- People should go and find that episode, not to like plug our own show here. Right? Plug away. <laughs> um, but but you should stop listening to this and then go and find <laughs> uh, <laughs> go and find that episode. It was it was actually very funny. Yes. Um, <laughs> but I think the outro that I did, I grabbed a guitar because you was recording. Oh, in the music room. Oh, That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I grabbed yeah. a guitar yeah. and then just began tapping it instead of playing it. Yeah. And, and I sang a whole song to, to play you out. And I still think that should be your actual intro um, to the entire podcast rather than the little groovy tune you've got at the minute. It's beautiful. Though, it, it is a groovy tune, isn't it? You know, if, um, we don't know who said... So we have this, like, intro sequence. It's like it's a, it's like a chill beat and then, like, sound clips of, like, various team members saying just things taken from like early recordings 
and I have no idea who's saying each one. There's a voice that goes, it starts like, you plex, and I, I have no idea who that is. Oh, okay. I think I know who it is. Who is it? I think it's Ben. No, see, I thought it was Ben, but they, but Charlie said no. <sighs> so, yeah, I think it might be you. Nah. I don't remember no, saying that. I don't I think it's that manly. I'm going to say it's Jads, so I'm going to call. It could be. I ended from by saying, uh, sorry, I've got a mouthful of tea, so that is like my Did legacy. You, no, I thought, you said, I thought you said don't bet on it. Don't. Oh, don't count on that? Don't count on that, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> so glad we got you guys on today. <laughs> really, really good stuff, guys. Really good stuff. Definitely going to have you <laughs> So, guys, let's finish this off. Let us know where everybody can find you again. We've done it at the beginning. Let's remind these sons of bitches that are listening. That's right, you sons of bitches. Where can everybody listen to your podcast? Go to Spotify or iTunes or what's, I don't know, whatever the apps are that are Google Podcasts and just type in the Newplex. You'll find us. Go to thenewplex.com. We're on all the social medias at the Newplex. Surprisingly, the name wasn't taken because it's absurd. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it, really. You can follow us at Jad's Newplex and at Jopo. Six, what, what's your new handle? Uh, Jopo on Instagram. Jopo underscore nutrition. There you go. Nutrition. There you go. It, it's ironic. It's an ironic name. He doesn't actually have any nutritional value to his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually... <laughs> it's, like, it's like me putting Flynn, Flynn Fitness. <laughs> and then there's just a picture of my darb. <laughs> so I'd subscribe to that. Who do better than this podcast? Everybody's got a kick, man. <laughs> Yeah, subscribe to this podcast. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this has been session three of Boys in the Wood, the crossover episode with our fantastic guests, the Newplex. Please like, subscribe, follow, hit that bell notification icon. The links to our SoundCloud and Spotify, if you're watching on YouTube, are below in the description. Mm. Um, if you're listening on Spotify or SoundCloud, then go check us out on YouTube or the other you know, just just fucking find us. All right. Wicked. Just fucking. Thanks so much for coming on, guys. All right. Thank you, Val. Really oh, appreciate it. Anytime you. you want me to come on your podcast, I'm there. That's so wicked. Let's, let's we'll see. Get, we'll get the guitar you ready for you. <laughs> please do. Please do. I'd <laughs> love that. I, can, I will kill <laughs> Flint's <laughs> performance. Both, <laughs> both want uh, Nuplex t shirts. I am an extra small. <laughs> an extra small you wish. giant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get the merch going. Let's get it. Yeah, we do. I need merch. merch it's got to be strong, brother. <laughs> but listen, Jeff, thank you so much for watching. This has been Boys in the Wood podcast session three. We have been joined by the Newplex, Jopo and Jads. Thank you so much for coming on, guys. Yeah, thank and you. We'll see you all on the next session. Wicked. See you next time, guys. Peace. See ya. Woo! See ya. No woman, no crime. <laughs>